she definitely knew you were like, oh, don't touch. <laughs> She's too funny. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. All right, we'll pop the popcorn in the microwave and settle in on the couch. There's a new movie streaming on Netflix this weekend. And to let you know all about it, we've got our favorite movie reviewer, Greg <laughs> Russell. <laughs> he hey, joins Kim. us now for Real Talk. Hey, Greg. Good to see you as always. Oh, great to see you too, Greg. All right, so we only have one to talk about, and yeah. today it stars Anthony Mackie. What's Outside the Wire all about? Well, it's a military action sci-fi thriller. It starts out with uh, Damson Idris, who plays a lieutenant in the movie. He's a drone pilot who gets into trouble or has a problem in the beginning. So he gets sent to this special thing to work with Anthony Mackie's character, only to find out that Anthony Mackie is actually a robot. And it's just about these two guys just trying to work together to uh, get this one particular thing, which I'll tell you about after the interview. But here we go, talking to the guy. Hi guys, how are you? Greg, I left my Detroit hat in my car because I was wearing it yesterday, man. And, and I'm wearing this shirt in your honor. Right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> and Anthony, I dare say, if somebody were to talk, talk about your character and say, he was a lean, mean fighting machine, they'd get it all right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. It's like when you think cyborg, when you think robot, you think mechanical and, mm -hmm. you know, by the book rudimentary. But this character, what we wanted to build in was the fact that he, he, he did have humanity. He did have feelings. He did have an understanding of the world around him. He wasn't just a circuit board. He was actually a living, breathing thing that just happened to be a robot. Damson, what was it like for you? I mean... All this action going on, you you've got to be your character, but then you got to run a lot, jump a lot, and do a whole lot of other stuff. Yeah, and I, I tried to look as bad as possible doing it. Um, the, the back scene was the biggest for me because you know I'm saving these hostages. Uh, this drone strike's about to come in. There's the emotional side, the emotional side to him um, for the first time killing someone in front of him and for me that's the turning point in a movie where he really starts to assess his job assess that ptsd and trauma and and what what his actions actually mean to the people on the ground yeah i can't wait for you to both come back to detroit and we'll take you out and we'll get you some coney island hot dogs i know you both oh man <laughs> <laughs> i'm wondering what hat he left in the car was it tigers probably Probably, because, yeah, remember he was in a couple of movies dealing with Detroit, 8 Mile, and also the movie Detroit, and yes. he loves this place, yes. loves it here. Yes, well, it's great to hear from them. Looks like a fun adventure film. What do you think of it? How many reels? It's a solid three. It is, as we call it, a great popcorn movie. So <laughs> I've got my popcorn right here. Uh, it, it is. It's just a lot of action. And the funny part is they shot this movie two years ago, and one of the things they had to capture or or. Uh, we get back in this movie was a vaccine and no. yes foreshadowing <laughs> and I, right it was like did you guys know he said no we did it two years ago and it's like whoa okay <laughs> they were they were way ahead of the the vaccine rollout obviously <laughs> right right well thank you so much greg for joining us always great to hear from you always great to be with you take care <laughs> you and tati all right take care too tati